Alright, T-Ball 2, go ahead. Take off, 3 left. Air copy that. Chopper guy. Alright, General. What's it like taking off in an F-35 fighter jet? The F-35 is a system of systems. It was built to find, identify, and kill all enemies. And to strap one of these F-35s on and to take off is truly a privilege. It really shows also the strength of America and how we put that airborne every day. We're all about taking care of each other and protecting freedom and justice worldwide. My favorite part about being an Air Force fighter pilot is being a part of a winning team where it's all about supporting each other and serving the nation. It's incredible to see how we work together to accomplish those objectives. And really, it's much more than uh, just being a pilot. It's all the operations, maintenance, and support that goes into building air power. What's that feel like to you, General, to protect this country? I'll tell you, it's a, uh, a heavy burden as well as a privilege. This country is built on freedom and justice and the rule of law. And to be able to protect that worldwide, to build air forces, and to really make sure that we promote freedom is truly an incredible opportunity. And I'll tell you, it's a great opportunity as well to do that as a part of a team, and that's what the Air Force is. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Chopper Guy. Man, that was a thrill chasing the general around in his F-35. And you gotta love that call sign, Tank. Anyway, we headed to Oshkosh to catch up with some more fighters, the P-51 Mustang. Can you imagine, Bruce, being 18, 19, or 20 years old with people shooting at you, and you have to keep your wits about you so that you can defeat the enemy? Being an American history teacher and being here by a P-51, over here by the Tusky Airman P-51, these were the angels on the wings of our soldiers, our GIs, during World War II. My father was a radio man in a, a PBY Catalina during World War II. Went in at 17 years old, came home at 20 years old. He gave three years of his life for America to be free and for uh, the Asian Pacific Theater to be free and for Europe to be free because of planes like this. I do very often put myself back in that 23-year-old kid in World War II knowing, you know, we're having a lot of fun out here. We're out flying, doing some formation. They were fighting in these airplanes. You, you got to kind of put yourself back in that, what the purpose of this airplane really was. It's a surreal experience. I, that's the way, that's the way I would put it. It's not difficult. It's when you first take off your first solo in a Mustang, you're up there and you're going, wow, this is this is a Mustang, and you're actually, uh, you know, a lifelong dream come true, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of a special moment. We were not winning the the bombing war in Europe. They were knocking us out of the sky. They had a system. It was it was really kind of a slaughter. You get 10 guys in a B-17 and you lose, you know, a third of the whole mission. Just count the guys that they lost and the equipment they lost and there was nothing they could do about it. There was nothing they could do about it. They had to fly all the way into a bomb strike, get pounced by the Luftwaffe. It was murder and until the Mustang came along and said, okay, we're changing the ball game. My dad flew in the war. He flew a C-47, and I lost him when I was quite young. And when I got this, I said, well, I know what I want to do. I'm going to give back and take every World War II veteran that can get in the airplane a flight. And it's just giving back to the veterans. And some of the stories you hear, especially from their family, they come back and say, he hadn't stopped grinning since he left your airplane. It was the last thing he talked about when we lost him, you know, passing away. And so it, it's, a, it's a, just a wonderful feeling. I get more out of it than I give. So there you go. And I'm just going to hover here until you hit that little subscribe button. Did you hit it yet? Uh -huh.